the return. Uh, the return. Uh, the return. So, so, so. Uh, let's figure out first what I'm doing before I share all the funny little words from my mouth. <clears throat> and I clear my throat. Um, okay. So, we basically got the second floor, at least for in terms of the rooms and hallways. For the most part, done, done, done. Now, might be smart to futz with the in-between. I'm going to have to figure out for but a moment. Let's see. Do like a little quick... What the fuck? Let's do a little quick... Fucking... Yeah, that should be fine. Let's figure out how many blocks high this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven. And what is the space in between this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh huh. We can't perfectly do five, so what we can do is, <clears throat> as I clear my throat <clears throat> for the millionth time, what I could do is tell the illusion better down here. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But so could have the space be the false floors of sorts. Okay, and let me restart this shit, try to figure this out. Probably do that as well over here and there. Just to get an idea. Okay. Uh, we'll do this just to keep the pattern going. So there's a fly. I'm gonna kill that thing. But let's see, uh... Double check here, so it's one, two, three, and two, and then that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then... One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then we're gonna wanna build. We're gonna build the balconies first. We'll do those ones up fully, and then. See how much we can fake it for the rest of these. Okay. Uh. I can figure it out. My big brain. We'll figure this out. Okay. Uh, let's try not to fuck up the recording so early. We're only about four minutes in. Uh, okay. Fucking, I am in excited, excited mood. And some fun stuff behind the scenes. Fun stuff behind the scenes. So, uh, to start with this talk, 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 talk thing, uh, since... The start of me wanting to do PNG tuber stuff, both before the early beginning, back in I think October 2022, I think. If I got the dates right, yeah, October 2022. I don't know the exact date date, but it was that month and year. Since the beginning of my PNG tuber stuff, throughout all my stuff, and currently as I'm recording, I thought to myself, God damn, do I at some point, at some point, I want to play Deus Ex, Z uh, a mod for Deus Ex, known as the Nameless Mod. I've been wanting to play that on here so bad, but my big thing in that time until now was I had to wait until it was fully finished with its 2.0 update, because the original release came out in fucking something 2009, I don't remember the exact date. And a 2.0 release has been worked on in recent years, and apparently, apparently, 
2.0 release, because I hadn't been paying full attention because I got distracted, apparently the Nameless Mod 2.0 release released in September 2023. It is currently March 2024. But that's okay. You know what? In this past week or so, I downloaded the 2.0 release. I did a full legitimate run in it with the ending I have in mind for video stuff. I got a taste for it and mostly good. Mostly, mostly, mostly good. There's a couple things I don't like changed, but we could save that for the video itself. And speaking of video stuff for it, uh, don't tell me I removed that. Okay. Speaking of video stuff for it, I ran some tests and it looks like it should be good. The only problem that I'm going to have for when I do it is that fucking. We're going to have a little bit of uh, saving times, depending on the area, depending on NPCs and all that shit. Might be a little bit rough at times. We're not talking like multiple minutes, but some of them might be like quick. Like, okay, maybe like five to ten seconds. Some might jump up a little bit to like, God forbid, 20 to 30. But I think that should be the general sort of average. It's not too, too bad. It could get a little bit obnoxious, but... Run smooth. I did a full run of it and I'm happy with it. And I think it can make fun, fun video stuff. So, Nameless Mod 2.0 update. I'm thinking, since we've played through it all off video and ran tests and the tests were good, I'm thinking after Sam and Max stuff, I'm going straight into fucking that. Absolutely. fucking lootly. Uh, it might also take me, it might take me a long time to get through that playthrough wise, which that's fine. Happens, happens, happens. Uh, haven't decided yet. There is one thing that'll be... Uh, hold on, let me make sure this is right. One, two, three, four. Only four? One, two, three, four. Okay. One thing I'm not sure of for when I do that playthrough of the Nameless Mod 2.0 update, what you might call it, is I don't know if I'm going to fully peruse all the like fucking newspapers, data cubes, all that shit. In the videos or not. It would be nicer if I did, but we'll see. If it seems like it's going to stretch the videos out too absurdly long, I might have to say no to that, but we will see. We'll figure it out. Uh, I can remove this. But yeah, that was a delight. It was fun to replay it in a new, 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 new version, so to speak. And I had a blast. And I am looking forward so much to having a blast sh showing you video stuff here. Oh, wow, wow. And I might also do a bonus thing. I might see how I'm feeling in the future. This might not be until fucking, I don't know, summer or autumn, maybe. That's just a rough, rough, rough guess. Uh, whenever I do the Nameless Mod video stuff this year, I might also do a bonus thing after I beat the campaign where I might just like fuck around with the fucking flying cheat and no clip just to like show glimpses of areas beyond the player player's player space of sorts. I think I think from what little stuff I've looked into so far, there's some interesting little things. It could be fun. It could be fun. Uh but yeah. That was the major thing that's been on my mind between last video, the Sam Max Part 4, I think, and this video, Minecraft Part Who Fucking Knows. Oh yeah. Uh, wah wah wah. But now, uh, I mean... Yeah, I guess I would wrap this around. Let's fully bring this up first. And I think that would... Trying to think for a moment. Oh, 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 don't drag me away now. We want that one to be pulled up there. I want to make sure I have all the fucking windows stuff correct. Got to make sure it's perfect, perfect, perfect. Um. Oh, because that's the bathroom. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, let's take a little gander over here. Is this one taken care of? I want to have this part. So it looks like... Okay, yeah, that is right. 
gotta build the framing for all this stuff. I'm not gonna fully decorate the inside of this. I'm only gonna decorate what should be visible if someone were walking around below or above. I may or may not. Hmm. We'll save, we'll save that software later. But yeah. What else? What else is on the funny reindeer's mind? My funny squeaking brain. What's on my mind? What's on my mind? Uh, well. I guess I could talk about music stuff again. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Since the last video... Minecraft one mostly. Did I talk about Schoolboy Q's new album? Because it's been out. I've listened to it a good handful of times. Uh, Blue Lips by Schoolboy Q. And I think my basic thoughts is that, um, I think it's a great album, but it's still easily beaten out by a blank face LP, personally, in my mind. But Blue Lips also completely demolishes fucking trash talk, which I'm glad. I'm glad he bounced back from from that. But yeah, it seems a lot more chiller than I expected it to be. And you know what? Based on how life stuff might have changed between albums, that's perfectly understandable. I mean, Danny Brown's Toronto. Not, I think I butchered that completely, but the last solo album by Danny Brown that released, I think, last year? Question mark? Uh, that one was chiller, and that one was fucking stellar. My favorite album by him, easily. But yeah, I like the new Schoolboy Q album. It was very good. Uh, okay, let me finish off this one so I can get the framing all figured out. I'm still not sure what my favorite song off of Schoolboy Q's new album is because there's a lot of good ones. And I know it's not flooded with features like fucking Blank Face LP was, but... I think it works better in his favor, keeping it more focused on just himself. Especially with the theming, topics, what have you, explored in it. In general, vibes. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I mean, I ramble about the man so much, but I mean, if I'm needing to fill that space, and I fucking love talking about music, I might as well. What are the adventures? In, in the world of Ye, formerly known as Kanye West, and the Vultures trilogy, if it will be a trilogy. Uh, it seems like right now the teams, from what I'm seeing, posted online and all that shit, it seems like they're mostly focusing. They're working in the studio on Volume 2, that's confirmed 100%, but it also seems like until it's ready, the main thing is still promoting Volume 1, which, hey, it's fair. The album came out a month ago. Especially when you're running independent, you want to make the fucking most of that. Uh, yeah, so I guess we just wait and see, really. Oh, wow, wow. Not really much else to say there. I think there's like a listening party two days from when this video was recorded. And then I think there's another one like later that week-ish, give or take. Over time works, but yeah. I know Rolling Loud has Ye booked for the 14th along with Ty, and that'll be nice for a real deal performance, fucking finally, instead of just listening experience, party, what have you. But yeah, I don't really have much else to say on that front. Uh, me build. I can't really remark on movie stuff, because I mean... I'm going to be blunt, I don't really look into new movies or television shows really much at all. I mean, everyone's ranting and raving about Dune, but from what I've seen, I probably would prefer the David Lynch one just because it's so fucking out there and eccentric and looks fun. I don't know. There's something about the modern Dune stuff that, from what I've seen, just it feels, it feels too, too polished and safe for me. I don't know. I just kind of feel bored. I remember the first time I saw this stuff before, I was just like, wow. This feels like a uh, futuristic fucking military ad. Which was my thoughts at the time. Is it still my thoughts now? Not as much. But, I don't know. I don't think I'd care for the modern Dune movies, whether part one or part two. It just, it just feels too flat for me. I don't know. 
I just like when Lynch makes the Gonzo stuff, and I think... If I can remember one of these nights, I'm probably just gonna fucking legally acquire a copy of the movie to watch. 1980-something. Or? Unsure. 1980-something. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Television shows, I can't tell you shit because generally I don't care about television. I don't know. Not really interested in any kind of shows these days. Like, when was the last show to fully grab me? It's just like, okay. If I use my big brain, I think of, like, television shows that, like, really fucking grabbed me intensely. It'd be, like, Sopranos, but that's when I watched it, like, in recent few years. From start to finish, basically. Also, oh, fuck, what did I do? Um, I mean, past that, it's like, Mad Men, I watched that from start to finish when it was releasing, and then I've rewatched it, I think... At least twice fully through, or three times fully through, I'm unsure. But it's been some time since I've last rewatched Mad Men. I should do it again sometime soon, but uh, that'll be a pain to legally acquire, and I can't be asked to find out if we have streaming service available through roommates or not. I would have Mad Men. But also, then I'd have to be watching shit mainly on a TV, and I don't feel like that. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Past that, I mean, when I was in college, I fucking watched Shameless. I mostly liked that, but I think by the time I stopped watching, I didn't catch up on, at the time, newer seasons in, like, fucking 2018 and onward. And now I just don't really have any interest to go in, and I guess Shameless didn't really fully hold my attention. Mad Men still fucking has me, and I really gotta rewatch it again, and Sopranos, I gotta fucking watch that shit. Endlessly, easily my favorite fucking TV show of all time. It's mafiosos, I love it. Uh, 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 uh. Setting this up. I'm getting things in motion. We're gonna make that fake floor. Uh, I'm curious for a moment. Let me just get an idea, okay. Uh, if I go up here, and one theoretically fall into this. I think so. Let's see. I think, yeah. Oh, wait! But if one falls... Hold on. Let's do a tester. See, that's kind of hard to fall into, but if I do something like this, can I easily fall into this? Like, okay. Say, we go here, and then we do... We fall to here, but we can't get over, which is good. That's what I intend. But then it'll break the illusion of, uh, that shit. Though, hold on. I just realized we are going to have this somewhere in between. So say, say we had it, like, right here. It's not going to be right there specifically, but... Wait, no, then I can just fall on this one. Hmm. But wait, it would be above it, right? It would be above this one. Then it would have to be like... Uh, and then that's there. I mean... Yeah, because even if you hold it, that's kind of fucking... That's like super hard to... Yeah, it's kind of like forcing it back, so I might be alright. So I guess you can just do that and ruin the illusion, I suppose, but... Oh, alright, for starters, let's put this back. I know I'm going to have to do the roofing for this stuff as well, but let's just remove this for the moment. Use a mod. Um, I guess there is another topic on my mind, but I'll be real. It's a thing, maybe if I did this video earlier in the week, I'd want to talk about it, but now I don't want to talk about it at the moment. So we move on. Uh... Fucking, where do I go from here? I guess I could just put these all back on there. Uh, bu bu bu, these are all the fucking balconies. Right, right. But yeah, bouncing back to TV show shit, yeah. I don't really feel much in for interest to watch modern television of any kind. I don't know. It's just... It does nothing for me, unfortunately. Bad. 
I mean, it is what it is. One's personal taste, Trump all. Uh, wah, wah, wah. I think I reused that completely wrong, but... Oh well. Did I... Okay, I fully have it laid out over there. Yes, yes. Okay. So then, what we want to do is... Fill this to there, and then do another... Cross. Okay, okay. We want to do this... Also, I'm realizing I could also... Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I can do that too. Uh, should I also just fucking... Yeah, okay. I don't wanna fill that one up. Fill it from there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. Um, what else was on the mine? I guess I, uh... Oh! I've started getting into fucking Jeff Gerstmann's YouTube channel shit. Especially the Jeff Gerstmann show, his little solo podcast thing. And it's pretty good. It's scratching the itch that a, uh... Ye old giant bomb, when I used to watch that shit all the time. Uh, it's scratching that same itch. And it makes me wonder also if, wow... As I've watched Jeff Gerstmann's, uh, at least his latest podcast thing in full, it makes me wonder, did Jeff Gerstmann have most of the... I don't know if I would say power, but he kind of was the face of the Giant Bomb stuff. From a lot of it, and you can tell he was kind of doing a lot of heavy lifting. I don't know. But, regardless of that, I did like his solo stuff, and good things brought up. And, bouncing off that, because I watched that... I did, for better or worse, watch the watch along of him uh watching that fucking what is it? Xbox uh partner preview, I think. Whatever the fuck Xbox, Microsoft, what have you is doing for these like little showcase things. And it was uh, of games, of course. And it was interesting question mark. It was like, okay, you're just showing the trailers. You're not having any, like, talking with the devs, but you are stopping the presentation now and then to advertise some Xbox Wire shit if you want to hear talking with the devs, which is interesting. Happy for them. Um, but it was, it was a little strange. I mean, I guess it's like, it's, it really was no nonsense, just here's some trailers for like a dozen games or so. Here's info if you want to learn more about these games. All right, bye. And I think from what I saw about it, it was just like, um... I mean, I guess there was the Persona 3 remake, which I'll just say I don't really give a shit about Persona as a series. Um, I did... I do think their little DLC thing was a little... Not great. Doing a whole expansion pass thing and having one month just be music tracks, another month being uh, one costume for the entire party. And then later months you get content that should have been in the game from the first place, but now is its own DLC. It kind of sucks and says something about the game industry. But, I digress. Past that, the Xbox partner preview, whatchamacallit, I was a little caught off guard by the fucking... Roblox game shit that's coming to console. Strange. It's like, what's next? Are we gonna start picking, like, staff approved hobbies? Throw, like, a dozen of them into a fucking disc and say, here's your new Roblox game? I don't know. It felt weird. It also felt weird seeing the, uh, more higher detail and effort. Ducky fucking player mod uh, model animations, textures, voices, what have you with the generic fucking Roblox kind of nothing characters in some game of fight off Ducky survive, what you might call it. I don't know, some shit like Nightmare in Griefville or some shit. Very weird, but definitely for the kids. I'm not a child, I'm 26. So it goes. But yeah, past that, I didn't really care for anything else shown off. Eh, it was just kind of like, shrug, whatever. 
Um, oh, I guess I gotta do this too. Three. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, strange times. Strange, strange, strange times. Let's see. Um, what would come next in this? I guess I could. I want to hold off on the windows. I want to figure out being a bug. Uh, let me figure out this. Sh I was trying to think for a moment. Oh god. I don't want the player getting in here. Let me see. I mean, if I got this up, can the player... I don't know. I want to have some believability, even if I don't share this map. Yeah, it's like, no fucking chance a person can get in here. I mean, they could fly in and do it, though. That's kind of just whatever. Um, Which can be seen from here. Decent bit, but I'm not worrying about that. Um, well, in the meantime, let's just fucking set these things up. I'm like 26 minutes in, that's flat okay. Dun, 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 dun. Pot, 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 not potato, not potion, just give me a normal ass flower pot. You're putting flower pot. Uh, okay. I remember this. Get this shit out of the way, cause it's distracting me. Okay, so that's bump, bump, bump. Right, okay. Give me that pattern. I mean, at that point, we know how the rest of this goes. Setting up this. Balcony for balcony's sake. Uh, I mean, I could still throw in shit in the inside, but I don't know. Anyway. I feel like as I slowly work through my 20s, thinking back to the Xbox partner thing. I feel like my interest in watching these conferences is getting smaller and smaller. I don't know. Like at some point, when does it just to go from like actual interest to just like, oh, I can put this on as like background noise. Uh, okay. Hi, DK. I've been slowly watching more of Northern Lion stuff since the last video things. He's good. I like it. Smart fellow, funny fellow, charismatic fellow. Got it made. What else does it say? Mostly just been watching his fucking... Uh, the one channel that does highlights of his fucking streams and makes them into like... 30 minutes, like hour or something videos. It's pretty good. Awawa. 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 Okay, what the fuck is this? Awawa. Okay. So it's mirroring that side. You know. Oh. Turn back. One thing I really wanted to do this month, March 2024, uh, man, I really wanted to work on game dev stuff, and so far it's just been a weird mixture of just, like, some days, it's just like, fuck me, I don't have the time, like, this would be one of said days. Other days, it's just like, fuck me, I'm exhausted, I can't be asked to do it, and it's just like, oh. I really badly want to get back to game dev. I mean, I have three releases, which... That's good for a beginner who started in, I guess I'd like to say officially 2000, uh, 2021, 
2021. Something, something. But sitting on three other games past these, and it's just like, fuck, I want to get these out so bad. But if I want to get the games out, I got to work on them. And if I want to work on them, I got to make the time and get myself amped up and just do it. Right. Never going to do game stuff on here. Whether it's the development itself or playing my own shit, because I would feel, uh, weird. Though it would be funny if future me is just like, nah, you can do what you want. But, current me says, fuck no. I, okay. I love this little cornflower, it's so good. After I finish recording stuff today, I have no fucking clue what I'm going to do in terms of quote-unquote working stuff. During right now as I record this, it is 10.26 p.m. my current time. And after this, I'm, I know I gotta do dishes at least. While this shit video you're watching renders in an edited form. Ask that, who knows? I think I should do the general flooring. Okay, well, these ones we know no matter what it's going to be. Whoa, whoa. Like this, right? Uh... Oh, okay. Well, let's just set up the frame for first. I'm not going to stress about that yet. Oh, uh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Also, fuck it. We might as well do this part, too. Oh, wow, wow. Oh. Okay, no, I think we'll have enough space to do the redstone shit. It's gonna be a tight, but we should be able to figure it out, I think. Oh, God. It's gonna be, uh, interesting to say the least. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Also, I didn't need to do that. in the frame. Floor what? Facade? Facade of a second floor even though this isn't going to be the quote unquote playable real second floor. Hotel with no name. We'll get it a name someday. I guess part of the reason I don't want to name this stuff yet is it's just like ah you're not finished. For a build like this, I don't want to put a name on you, because then it's going to feel weird until you're not done. But... Uh, which is funny, considering what I'm going to work on fucking game dev stuff ahead, and game dev stuff I've already done. I've named shit, and it's work in progress state, but there's something about this where it's just like, I don't know. about the video one where it's like, I want to wait till I'm done with this. Then it will truly feel right, methinks. As I ramble, ramble, ramble. Doing good on this fake floor. Building the frame. Parts subject to change as I uh, get her done. As creepy ambience plays for but a moment. So you are dripping. It's you. You're the one dripping, right? What a fucking scorn. First and second, I start paying attention to it. Oh! Oh! Water droplet. Hey! Hey! Okay. I knew I wasn't 
seeing things, previous video videos. There water. There is. Taking a gander. You know, one thing I am happy about myself. Since, since the start of this year, I've done a very good. Maybe not exactly on January 1st, but... Sometime January. I've done a good pattern so far. But every time I do art, I set up my art in five-day... views of sorts. Where I'll plan five days ahead. I'll work through a current five days, and then I got archive stuff of previous five day queues where it's back to back to back. I love doing daily art, it's so fucking fun. But, um, in my schedule for the past, I'd say two months and maybe a week, give or take, I've been holding myself to a good schedule of every five day queue. The second and fourth day of every single queue has been dedicated to me working on my webcomic. My beautiful webcomic, dot dot, just another day, exclamation point, found through my card, featured in every video description, womp 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 womp, but uh, yeah, I've been doing good at keeping to that schedule, and uh, I'm happy with it, I'm very happy, I think I've gotten 19 pages drawn, written, posted, what have you this year, 2024, so far, and that's good, I'm happy. Uh, let's just build. Let's just fill out these parts first. And door is there. Door. Which means door is going to be there for all the rest of these. Oh yeah. Good webcomic work. Good keeping it updated. Sort of a schedule, but I don't know how to tell the reader what the schedule is. And in case it ever changes, um, I don't post what the schedule is. I don't have to feel bad about deviating from it. But yeah. Making good progress. I think the last page I worked on as of recording yesterday, uh, I think it was page 53 of my webcomic, which is good. I thought it was going to be a miracle once I passed 20 pages. Now I'm at 53. It's just like, let's keep going, 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 going. And I think the end is not near for said webcomic. I'm going to push it as much as I can, and then once I feel everything's done, I'm going to finish capping off the webcomic sometime in the years ahead. That'll be it. This one webcomic from me. I think that's good enough for my artiste, writer, legacy. Awawa. Ah, wah, wah. I'm going to keep working on these bathroom flooring. The artiste. Oh, wow, 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 wow. You know, I had a fun meal before this. A part of me knows if I say what the meal is, that will look really goofy being a 26-year-old adult. 26-year-old grown-ass woman. Uh, but I don't care. I had some, like, two little, like, fucking Chinese food meals prior to this. One was, like, fucking chicken fried rice, and the other was, like, uh, beef and noodles with little pieces of broccoli. It was nice having these together for a bigger Chinese meal sort of thing. And then I had a little Shirley Temple drink on the side. And then I had also, which as an adult I'd say, um, don't fucking eat like this. This is sad, embarrassing. But along with the Chinese food stuff and the Shirley Temple, I also had a chocolate bar. Fucking dark chocolate, cheapo chocolate bar. It was good. And you know what? I'm gonna regret it later. I know it, but sometimes you just gotta say fuck it. Unless it fucking kills you. Sometimes you just gotta eat fun. And then, who knows? The bathroom knows. But I digress. Um, Let's plant all... Oh wait, no. I think I still have to do it over there. Okay, no, we good. Uh, I gotta be careful not to hit my fucking hard drive. I've got a real knack for accidentally hitting my fucking hard drive with my mouse as I move shit around, and then it temporarily disconnects the hard drive, and 
that it causes errors. Um, I've been trying to do it less. Thankfully, one friend Kevin set me up with a program that helps check the health of half dried stuff and hard drive stuff. And thankfully, both the built-in hard drive on our computer and the removable one, I got separate from it later on. Uh, they're both in good health, according to the program. It's a little hot, but I mean, what can one do? Not really gonna get fans again, because from experience, um, I mean, getting external fans kind of suck for laptop shit. Uh, I could get a stand again to help alleviate it, but if I get a stand thing, it's gonna be a bitch to move the laptop around. This desk only has so much space, and I'd like to eat it at my fucking desk at times, and use the desk space for that, so that means I gotta move the laptop around, and one thing after another, ba 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 booey, and it's just like, yeah, yeah, a lot. Life is a lot. But for small reasons, big reasons, what have you. But yeah. Um, I guess I could work up to a topic I wanted to avoid later, but I might as well touch upon. Uh, realistically, if I'm going to be honest with you, we're probably not going to do video stuff on uh, fucking I want to hug that gator in the future. Probably not. What with all the stuff coming out of fucking developers for it? Getting paid fuck all or not paid at all without fucking having... Uh, without fucking doxing themselves in the process. Yeah, that doesn't sit well in my mouth and... I shouldn't be surprised with its channers, but there's a lot of shitty treatment of team members and it's just like... I don't like seeing that for an indie team. I don't know. I can't fully say I'm surprised because I mean... I mean, I say myself personally, it's like, fuck, I've been on... On and off 4chan. Fucking what, since I was like, maybe... If I throw out a year, I think either 2007 or 2008, which I would have been super young. It didn't fully fuck me up. I like to think I'm a good person to some degree. But I have my moments just the same. And I work through. Make progress to be a better person. But I don't know. If you're not going to treat your dev team well... Whether it's through payment, respect, what have you. And fucking fire people for stupid reasons. Petty, petty stupid reasons. I don't know. It just sits. It's, it leaves a bad taste in the mouth. Oh, I didn't finish this. So I don't think... I don't think I would feel comfortable doing video stuff on I Want, want to Hug That Gator. And I feel like it's important I bring this stuff up, considering I did fucking do video stuff on Snoop Game, and I am going to keep the video still up still. There's a reason I'm still keeping them up. For you, the player, to see a full comparison between the original game and its quote-unquote parody, and you can decide if you care for either past that. It's also the difference that one was um for free and the other was fully paid. But I won't say much more. There's documents out there talking about this shit. I've shared them here and there on social media stuff. Baba booey, but yeah. Though I also won't lie, I've said before, I have the game. I already was gifted it. What am I gonna say, no to the gift? At this point, it's just like, eh, I'll fucking take it. It kind of helps in a sense that if any other scummy shit happens in the future, it can be like, I don't know, like, oh shit, well, hey, I've archived builds of the game. Here, you can see how things have changed. There you go. But yeah, I don't know. But yeah, we ain't doing that game on this channel. It just, it wouldn't feel right. It would feel not great for the developers that got screwed over and kicked off the team. But yeah, I guess that was the, really the only thought. Baba Booey. I think I alluded to this vaguely in a previous video, but yeah, basically that. Uh. But boy howdy, developers treated right. Can't fucking wait to play the Nameless mod 2.0 update. Ow, wow, wow, wow. Uh, you don't even know how fucking excited I am to do that on video stuff. Since the beginning, baby, I've wanted to do it when the time was right, and boy howdy. Time will... Well, the, I want to do it so bad, but now the timing is just, okay, scheduling. So scheduling is, uh, 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 uh. 
when we have the time available for video stuff. We are going to finish Sam and Max Season 1 Telltale Game. I think Sam and Max Save the World. Proper title. Non remastered, remake, what have you, fucking version. Then we want to fully complete the story, so we're going to go through Season 2. We'll see if we're smart enough to solve all the puzzles. We'll use good old Steam guides and credit said guides when we use them. Uh, and then we'll eventually do Season 3, which I've seen very little and know very little of. But, I think Steam Guides will still help me. Ow, wow, 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 wow. And then once all three seasons of that Sam Max Telltale stuff is done, we're gonna do Nameless Mod 2.0, baby! And along the way of the Sam Max stuff, we're gonna keep doing Minecraft like this. Oh, take a breather. Uh, not sure how I wanna handle it. Let's see, how are the walls... Are the walls just simply... That in between, they are. Um, just trying to think. We can get away with not doing the bathroom stuff. I'm not sure if we can get away with not doing furniture stuff. Let's take a look. We're we look these from down here. It's from down here. Uh, we need to better show this off. Hold on. One, two, line, and then two, two. Okay, so that is one, two, line, one, two. Then we're going to go back to look at this. Kind of like game development, knowing what you need to model for the player to see versus what you can cut off, flush hide. Yeah, because from like out here, you're not really going to be seeing much of these areas. Uh, ooh. Down here, are you gonna be seeing shit? Maybe not. Hold on, if I... If I go, like, right here-ish. Uh, mostly, mostly... Hmm. I can add stuff in post. Oh, yeah. Alright, um, let's just for the meantime, let's finish up this part so we make some progress. More. We are around 47 minutes in. I want to be smart with my time. Figure it out. I should get back to working on my own music again sometime soon. Instrumental, ambient, electronic, what fucking have you. Oh, uh, well, uh. Mostly working on soundtrack shit. Right? I think this is right. Oh wait, would I... Oh, hold on, this means this would be... Wait, what? Huh? Oh, I might have done this wrong. Let me fix this. I am now realizing, yeah, I did this part wrong. Hold on. This is gonna fuck me up and try to re recreate this. Wait, but is this not? Let's see. One, two, two, three, four. One, two, three. What? One, two, three, four, five. Shit. Well, let's fix this stuff. Fuck whatever other thought was on my mind. I was talking about my own music. Uh, I'm gonna need to focus for a moment because I am fucks in this. And let's do this too in the process. Salvage it. Did I fuck it up over there too? No, I didn't, huh? Maybe it was just this one. Wait a minute. I'm I'm what? Huh? 
Oh no. Okay, we're doing that right. Um, and this one we can just raise to here. Okay. I think we got it. Silence. A golden thing. Uh, what was I saying? My own music. Hopefully I can get back to work on my music again sometime soon. Because I did make two little one minute and change instrumental loops this year. I think it was sometime in February. But then I haven't gotten back to it since, which is sad. I don't know. It is a hard thing I've set myself up for as a general creator, whether it's author slash writer, artist, webcomic maker, I guess comic maker by that logic, game developer, music maker, music artist, I guess, question mark, etc, etc, is that you can only do so many things solo before it gets overwhelming. And I try to space things out, but it's still hard not to fall into the trap of like, oh my god, I'm trying to juggle every fucking thing under the sun. We figure it out just the same. We've got three mu releases for music stuff that have been out. What am I doing right here? I don't know. We've got three music releases. We've had three game releases. Our comics gone for 53 pages so far. We've put out God knows how many videos for my Let's Play stuff with PNG Tuber for like a year plus uh, 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 some sort of months. Can't be asked to do the math. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Uh, something. Yeah. We also got a wiki for one's works. Awesome Valley Wiki. You can find it through checking the video description and looking for a link mentioning my card, which is where you could find all my sites linked neatly in a card. And guess what? The card is just a normal list. No more going through Tumblr mazes when seeing someone's card. No, no, no. Just straight to the point. However. The juggling act, but I juggled. Thank God. For the position I'm in. I do my silly projects. I help clean the household. I go out and about. I do my thing. I make no money. I have a highly specific life, but so I live. And I love my partner, which, ooh! That reminds me mentioning my partner. Fucking, my partner's Ajax's birthday was recently. March 6th. And I believe he's 25 now. If my math is correct, correct, which I think it is. We went to a little Mexican food place in the area, and it was fucking stellar. I had two, uh, well, I guess I made two, but it was it was a plate of uh, barbacoa beef, guacamole, rice, beans, lettuce, tomato, onions. I got two flour tortillas that were fucking thick and yummy as hell, and I made two little tacos of sorts from it. And then I had the rest of the stuff with tortillas back at home as leftovers the next day. And that was fucking yummy, and I had a wonderful time, and the service there was fucking amazing. Bless our waitress. She was a sweetheart and did everything perfectly. Uh, I'm just unsure if I want to get these in between parts yet. Um, maybe. Oh, so this is a window. Okay. Um, I guess I could do this, so... This is a... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh wait, no, that will be like that, but not yet. Uh, actually, I'm, what am I saying? I should just... I don't know. That's like that. That's like that. And that's a bathroom one. Can I fucking remember this? That'll be quite the trick. Um, don't worry, we're gonna fill in this blank space in between. As my fucking voice cracks. Uh, ba ba ba. 
Let's focus one at a time. Is this going to be the same sort of pattern? No, it's going to have two windows. Big space and then another window. Okay. So this should be... Uh, let me simplify this so I'm not fighting for my life here. Okay, so this will be like this. This kind of suck if you're in the middle one because then you don't get any sideward, no things, but I guess, I don't know, you get more privacy. Shrug, I guess. We don't want to think about the logistics too much. It's just a silly Minecraft build. I don't really strive for utmost fight fix realism. My video, my voice goes again and I flub a word. But that's okay. Ah, wah, wah. I do like that feature. Where I can just place this and I move away and it still mostly goes. And this will be just fully full. Filled, even. Kind of getting a mem memorized pattern. Take a breather, Luminous. Got this baby girl. You're not gonna flub any more words. You probably will, but... Fine. Me and the viewer won't tell anyone. Hopefully. I don't care. Oh, wow. There's still a big question mark as to eventually when this hotel gets finished. What is next? And you know what? We'll worry about that later. Did I fuck this up? Oh, because I thought this one was the bathroom. Did I do it right over here at least? Yes. Okay, so what this should be is... It should be here. And then this can just be knocked out. And then these could be replaced with that. Good. Catch. Uh, and yeah, we can leave that in, that's fine. Alright, and then this has to be the last. Oh man, the view for these ones are gonna suck. Oh well. They'll live for it. You want better views? Pay for upstairs to downstairs. You wanna save some money? Go for the middle and have the shittiest view imaginable. Womp womp. I don't know. I mean, who knows what'll be here? Um, we already know what's gonna be here. Sad. Coming out interestingly so far. I do wonder if someday, and I've mentioned this a million trillion times, if I hold on to this video st making stuff, PNG tuber, what have you, let's play shit, if I do it for a long time, I wonder if I'm eventually going to be like, fuck it, I want to do video stuff but I don't want to do game, let me do other shit. It's a wonder. Personally, I don't want to do it right now, but it's a thing to consider for the future. Me thinks. Me does not know. Ah, wah, 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 wah. I think I could tell we're winding down now. I might call it after getting this last bit. Walled up stuff. Done. I guess I could do this in between part real quick. But 
Oops. How the fuck did I miss this one? You know one thing I do want to talk in the mind. Fucking, I was reading a, uh, I was reading a Kotaku article the other night. It was a really good article talking about the fucking narrative consulting company Sweet Baby Inc. And kind of just touching upon how a lot of the hardcore gamers, and when I say the hardcore gamers, the term we're looking for is the diehard ones that probably fear a lot of folks of different races, sexualities, genders, religions, and what have you. A lot of real shithead gamers were given this narrative consulting company Sweet Baby Inc. a lot of grief thinking there's some big fucking stupid ass conspiracy about like oh they're purposely shoving diversity in all games they're ruining games blah 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 and it's just a load of horse shit really but Kotaku did a good article touching upon this and it just makes me sad to see that like you look at what they say they do, this fucking narrative com company, and it's just like, all they do is just trying to make sure plot threads make sense. Checking how characters kind of speak to make sure it's human and not kind of like falling flat. And then just like, helping linking them up with resources if developers need them. And it's just to see it spiral out into like some big evil conspiracy thing that people are supposedly thinking it is. And it's just like, I don't know, it's fucking stupid. You do not need to be giving this little company grief. Especially when it's a thing of consulting companies like these for games have existed for a long time. And are just doing very little harmless things. They're just helping out teams that need outside help. There's nothing nefarious going on. Be real. And it's just making me think. We're getting to a really bad space. Mostly online, but it's going to bleed into the real world to whatever degrees here and there, which sucks. But we're getting into a thing where a lot of people are just, I don't know, clinging to whatever insane conspiracy they can to explain parts of the world, parts of online, parts of the world's industries, countries, what have you, and all that. Just insane conspiracies of just like some evil boogeyman is doing XYZ of all this. When in reality, the truth is just very mundane. And just like, hey, sometimes it's just, no, you're blowing things out of proportion. This isn't happening. Think logically for a second. Other times, just like, nah, the truth of why this thing is shit, it's always the boring, plain truth. You want to know why game stuff is getting shittier for AAA games? Look towards the head of these companies, fucking just trying to milk for any money they can. Looking for investors who are so out of touch, pushing for every fucking trend thing in every game, even when it doesn't make sense. Look to big name companies, shuttering fucking indie stu studios, putting people out of jobs, laying them off left and right, just because they're not getting their fucking golden fucking yachts, golden toilets, all this stupid shit that they don't need. John CEO's not making a trillion dollars a minute, gotta kill his entire staff. Like, yeah. The truth is always so mundane. And then it's just other shit where it's just like, I don't know. Why is this one fucking industry thing so shit? It's just like, I don't know. Maybe look into people being laid off fucking regularly. Maybe look into shithead governments making re re eh, making regulations on shit worse and worse and letting deeper dog shit stuff go through. Why are things overpriced? Be real, it's just companies fucking deciding, let's fucking milk people for all the money that we can. I don't know. It just feels like a waste of time drifting towards conspiracies about insane shit. Proof's easier to find. It's a lot more boring, sorry, but see how it is. I don't know. I just wish people would use common sense and stop treating their fellow m man who's on the same fucking income working what having scale as them as the evil and not look towards I don't know fucking heads of multi-million billion dollar companies shithead politicians shithead legislators shithead investors what have you I don't know it's easier to attack your fellow man than look above and rise against 
the bastard's in charge at the very tippy top. I don't know. I'm rambling a bit. But, whatever. Misa just mad at... at people being dumbasses and a world being shite at times. Badge. But, we could say it once, we could say it again. Life goes on, and we'll figure out how to make it through it. Oh! Wait a minute. I got a crucial element for this test. Uh. Did it be exactly right there? Wait, what the fuck? Oh no, it would be. That's gonna be right there. And that's gonna be right there, right? Right. So it's gonna be something like. Wait, what? Oh, it's also gonna be like shit. Uh. Gonna be like that too. When we fall down from this. Oh, holy shit, can we not even get that one at all? I mean, we could force it. Eh. I don't know. But, we don't want to go full steam ahead on this fucking shit yet. Get. Fuck. God damn. I'm rambling. Maybe sometimes you're rambling. Maybe a lot of folks be rambling and yammering just like this. And how about for a moment we just... Be quiet. Call the video... To a close, perhaps in but a moment. Perhaps. Let's uh let's do this. We'll do this. And we'll say as the music swells. Or not. Bye. <laughs>